Three people are dead after fire rages through a flat in Badok. One of them was a toddler. Well, staying with that story, we've got the latest uh, from Tan Sehui. She is uh, on scene at Badot North. Uh, Sehui, you were standing at the block when the fire first broke out. Uh, tell us, what do we know about the family that's been affected by this tragedy and the knock-on effect to the neighbours? Yeah, at the moment, uh, recovery works is still ongoing. Electricity is back on. Um, but a lot of the residents are saying that they are still emotionally affected. But help has been pouring in since the morning. Now, opposite is their heartbeat at Burdock Mall. Uh, they were first given food and water when the fire first broke out. But when the situation stabilised, many of the residents went back home and they saw the utter devastation. Um, and many of them have uh, sought accommodation. Uh, two families are seeking accommodation at the nearby Hotel 81 uh, till Tuesday and after that, HDB may provide them some accommodation after that. And groups of volunteers from Kampong Chai Chi uh, GRC, they have been coming over here to help the residents affected. In fact, they have been giving out this care pack right here. Um, they have wet wipes um, and there's also a mask and this bucket so that they can clean off the suit that is both inside their unit and outside their unit. And depending on how their unit is uh, affected, the suit could only be cleaned up after maybe several weeks. And I spoke to the MP of this GRC and he says he spoke to some of the residents and he is still going to offer more help to residents in the coming week. Some of the residents feel a little bit more, still quite traumatised because of the morning's incident. Still have flashbacks. So from young kids to seniors, they say they can't really uh, get to sleep, very worried about uh, the fires. So we are sort of arranging for counsellors to come by and speak to them and to engage them and see what else we can do. I spoke to one of the residents uh, that is just living next to uh, the most affected unit. Um, he's in the corner unit uh, and he says that he hasn't really met the family on many occasions, but on those occasions that he's seen them, he says that they're quiet and soft-spoken and other neighbours have described uh, them as a, a family that have uh, lived here for about seven years and that's for the owner and for the tenants they are a group of three there's a there's a couple of around middle aged uh, about 30 years old and they have a young toddler as well and they say that they were they got married uh, here in Singapore and also they had their baby here while living here and so a lot of the residents are really quite emotionally affected but there were some bright sparks to this tragic incident when the fire broke out a 40 year old man he went around uh, trying to inform many of their neighbours that the fire was was out and it was breaking out and, and so they, we, we call it a heroic act from this man and they call it the Kampong spirit and so let's hear what one neighbour had to say. During the times when you know everybody is trying to evacuate and suddenly there is a young man around, aged around about 30 to 40 so he rushed, I can see he rushed and hit my door very hard and asked you to ev evacuate. You see, every door he hit and just go off. You see, he just told us, that, try to come on, make it fast and, you know, try to evacuate, to, to, to run out of this place. So I think it's very, very good that we have this kind of uh, kampong spirit and I would like to say thank you to this man. The identities of uh, those affected are still unknown, but what we do understand is that a lady is still critically injured in hospital um, and more details along the way. All right, uh, Tan Se Hui are reporting there on the latest on that fire at Badot North.